we're heading into the exhibition hall. See if we can learn something more about Oracle's efforts in the cloud computing area. Well, this is interesting. We have uh, a sign from uh, Wipro here on SaaS in the cloud. Um, this is in spite of Larry Ellison's uh, mockery of the term cloud computing uh, just a week or two ago. But certainly hasn't discouraged Wipro from applying the term here in their marketing at Oracle Open World Exhibit Hall. And here we have Salesforce.com with a very large pavilion in the middle of the Oracle Exhibition Hall. And uh, I believe Salesforce.com was the uh, software vendor that Larry Ellison described as having an itsy bitsy application. Well, they're here with, uh, with their pavilion promoting cloud computing and software as a service with the service cloud, sales cloud, and a custom cloud. A lot of cloud computing going on here in the middle of Oracle's exhibition hall. I'm here with Kendall from salesforce.com, uh, uh, Kendall Collins. That's right. And uh, Kendall, I just wanted to ask you just a little bit about what salesforce.com is doing here in the middle of the Oracle exhibition hall. Thanks, Frank. We're uh, <laughs> delighted to be here. Yeah. You know, obviously, Oracle is one of the leading technology providers in the world and a great partner and a great customer, um, or rather I should say we're a customer of theirs. We have a lot of technology that's built on Oracle. And this is really about customer success. You know, we have thousands of joint customers and we think about how to bring those customers joint success every day. Uh, uh, Oracle said some uh, things recently about cloud computing that uh, kind of diminished the term uh, quite a bit. Um, clearly, Salesforce.com is a cloud computing provider and, and takes great pride in that. Um, how do you reconcile those two kind of uh, positions? Well, I didn't really follow that closely, but yeah. from a Salesforce perspective, you know, we really believe that cloud computing is the right model for customers. Right. And we've been focused on that for over 10 years now. Yeah. Uh, we've got 63,200 customers, millions of subscribers. and. They're really companies of all shapes and sizes. So I think what's exciting is companies, whether they're uh, small five and ten person companies or the Cisco's and Merrill Lynch's and Dell's of the world yeah. are choosing cloud. Yeah, I've just been asking you just a little bit about this uh, new functionality in Salesforce.com. Actually, it's been out a couple of years, you said, uh, called Salesforce to Salesforce that That's allows right. partners that are both on your platform to share leads and contact information between one another, and that's much easier since they're on the same database. T tell me a little bit more about that. Sure, so this is a really interesting concept, and one of the things that we figured out was only possible through cloud computing. Yeah. Right Through the power of a multi-tenant database, all of our customers are really using a shared infrastructure. Mm -hmm. So one of the things that we asked ourselves is, wouldn't it be amazing if customers could share information directly with each other I see. without using kind of the old clunky EDI technology? Right. Isn't there a better way? And what we basically introduced a few years ago now is what we call Salesforce to Salesforce. Mm -hmm. So this is your ability to effectively share customer information across two different customer organizations. I see. So the example that we were talking about earlier was Motorola. Okay. They're a great customer of ours. They have uh, a Salesforce.com deployment, and then they have hundreds of partners that are also using Salesforce.com. Okay. Now, why can't those partners just share leads back and share and opportunities back and forth with okay. Motorola without doing a whole EDI implementation? Well, now they can. Through the power of the cloud, they can effectively share data in real time. It's completely secure. They can share all the information that they want and nothing that they don't want, and they can do it at a field level, at a record level, and it's incredible. And that's something that's enabled by the cloud that really is not very easy to do with an on-premise solution, is it? Very hard to do right. with an on-premise solution. You could do it, but it would cost you millions of dollars, and it might take months or even a year to set up. Right. We're talking about point-and-click configuration right. to be able to do a very complex integration. Yeah, good.